My name is Jonathan Mitchell, and this is my season. When I first started playing football, I was about seven years old. Like, my whole family is like a basketball-type family. And for me, playing football, that was, like, really different. And when I, I didn't know anything about football when I first played. I didn't know what cleats were. I didn't know what a cup was. Yes. I've been playing football for about seven years, this season being my eighth year. Um, I've been a captain every season I played, except for my last two seasons I just played. Always because I was the new kid like from transition to Pop Warner High School. When I first was playing Pop Warner, I was like the biggest, say the biggest kid on the team and like the slowest kid on the team. Then I came up, my second year Pop Warner had about 30 something touchdowns. I was, I was like about eight years old with 30 something so touchdowns. I signed up my first year for $160. And then after that, I didn't, my mother didn't have to pay no more. After my first year, I started doing good. Coaches started paying for me. The reason why my mother signed me up for football is because I was the right, I was the, the right age to play. I was seven years old, and I was also playing other sports like baseball and basketball. So her signing me up for football is just just another sport she was signing me up for. Just keep me busy. The first team I played for. When I was seven was the New Haven Steelers, which is in the Pop Warner League. But the youngest league I played, the youngest league for the seven-year-olds and the eight-year-olds was the Mighty Mites. When I first played Mighty Mites, um, uh, I, was bigger, I was bigger than a lot of kids. So when our coach asked us, he asked him for positions, who wants to play this, who wants to play that, I automatically picked quarterback because like, that was the only position I really knew. My position that I knew of. So I've always been a leader since Mighty Mites. After Mighty Mites, I had moved up, got older, gained a little bit of weight, had played for the Junior Pee Wees, still playing for the New Haven Steelers. When I went to the Junior Pee Wees, I had switched my position from quarterback to running back. <laughs> Jonathan Mitchell on the carry about 15 yards. Yeah, yeah. Now I moved up again. Now I'm playing for the Pee Wee now, which I was on defense and offense, which I was the captain of defense and offense. Now this was like my last year of Pop Warner, which I played junior midgets. And the junior midgets, I played a little bit of everything. Linebacker, strong safety, quarterback, running back, lineman, everything I could do and everything the team needed me for. And my best game in junior midgets was um, our playoff game, our uh, Southern Conference Pop Warner playoff game against Stratford. Had about 200 yards with a, about the 86 yard run, which helped our team propel to the state championship. So we went to the state championship, and that's the farthest I ever went with the uh, Pop Warner team. But our other Pop Warner teams have went way farther than that, but that's the farthest I went. So uh, we lost the state championship, but it hurt It hurt so bad because we had it in our hands. Everybody thought we should win against this smaller team, New Britain. But they came up with the better end of the stick. This field right here behind us, I have played on this field my whole entire life. This is Bowen Field. It's the home of the New England Steelers and the home of Hill House football team. I also play high school football as a freshman here at Hill House. We were undefeated for the season. I helped out a lot with the freshman and the JV and someone with the varsity in practice.
They have some highlights out here. Great games. Classics. A lot of fun playing here. Remember we were on a five yard line, like at this point. We ran it all the way up the field up the middle. I practically walked into the end zone. I got a penalty for it. Why? Cause I, I ran up to the line. I was right there. Could have ran in for the touchdown, but I just stopped. Just walked in. I remember one of my first touchdowns I had my first year. Running the ball up the sideline. My mother used to be you know, sitting on the bleachers, running with me. Until I until I made the touchdown, saying, "Run, Jay, go, run, Jay, run." Screaming. That was the only way they did that. On this block right here, that's my build. That's my building right there, where I grew up at. A lot of, a lot of memories come from this block. So you, you gotta be aggressive on this block. So I guess that applied to football. You know, house right here, 135. 135 Harry As you can see, I put in that hard work. As you can see, I'm working hard for the upcoming season. Last year, I was at Hill House. This year, I'm at West Haven High. The position I expect to play here at West Haven is the same position I've always been playing, running back. This is my coach, my head coach right now, Ed McCarthy. You know what I mean, I'm trying to put one right here, and then one right here, then one right here, then one right here. You know what I mean, because that's what I do. Put legacy, set standards, higher standards. I'm a legend. But I, I was living in Brantford, and I used to come over and watch him. Look at the scores over here. Look at the score. 62 to 6, 50 to 12, 42 to 6, 95 to 6 overhand. Yeah. Lee, 58 to 20, Stanford, 37 to 20, Ansonia, 72 to 16, John Law, 34, Hillhouse, 76 to 6. Thanks. They were ranked fifth nationally. Can I ask you a question? You yeah. know this guy? You know this guy here? <laughs> you know him? Yeah, I know him. Huh? Yeah. Where do you know him from? Football, I think. I know the face, but yeah, I can't. Yeah. I couldn't remember your name. Yeah, where where did he play? He played in New Haven with the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's right. number twenty-one, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Twenty-one. Yeah. Mitchell, yeah. you played with Leon then. Yeah. Yes, you're. That's right. Yeah. And you ran up that wall, up that hill all the time, <laughs> <laughs> and run up the steps. Yeah, they don't have twenty-one here. No, they don't have twenty-one. They they retired twenty-one in three sports. Oh yeah, oh that was Gambardella. Yeah, the, the kid that died in Hopster. 
the 21 years old he died. Uh, yeah. He graduated in 2000. Yeah, yeah. He had a heart, a heart condition. They didn't know about it. He was a heck of a baseball player. Oh my God, was he some baseball? Player. I saw some of his highlight tapes. Oh yeah, he was something else. Every season, I plan to accomplish what any player plans to accomplish every season: a state championship. And that's not even my biggest goal. My biggest goal is to go all state by the end of my career, get to college and all that. Academically, I plan to maintain my grade point average and keep my grades up so I'll be eligible to play every sport. Actually, I really do see myself playing college football. If not Division One, I'm playing Division Two. But if not Division Two, then I already got a music career. What I mean by I'm already, I already have a music career means I have other talents. I'm not only a football player, I actually make beats, produce songs, all that stuff, and they're actually real good, you should hear them. The type of music I make is R&B, hip hop, rock. I'm not, I'm not limited. You can make anything you want, anything you need. But my specialty is hip hop and R&B. That's what I really like to do. One of my big, biggest influence, influences in football is Eddie George. I mean, I love his running style. He used to just run people over. He, was, he wasn't even that big of a running back. But as I got older, the competition started getting better. I started switching up my running style to a more conservative type, fast, quick, use my speed type instead of running everybody over. So I started looking up to LaDainian Tomlinson and Reggie Bush started watching their moves and what they do to improve my game. But I still had that little Eddie George in me to run somebody over now and again. That's just what I do. I switch it up on you any time of the day, any game, depending on your defense. If I feel like doing this, I could do that. I come to the beach when I can, sometimes, to run in the sand, get my legs stronger. It's all, it's all for the sport, I'm trying to get my mother this house. Everything, anything I dream to get her, try to pay for my sister's college, everything like that. I'm trying to be rich by 26. Some of my big influences in life, other than football, is probably my mother. Because her work, her work ethic is like so hard, she drives to everything. And someday I might want to get her to relax off that work ethic and all that hard work she does. And another influence, one of my biggest influences, probably is my biggest influence, is my grandfather. You know, he um, had a lot of injuries in his life but stayed in there. You know, he went deaf, partially deaf. Messed up his walk when he used to be like one of the greatest basketball players in New Haven. And he stayed up there so I just learned how to never quit. My name is Jonathan Mitchell, and this is my season.